The media left, and I haven't followed the social media on this particular issue, but the media left has been very quick to blame sexism for the forcing out last week of Rugby Australia Chief Executive Raylene Castle. Here are the ABC's Lee Sales and Nine Newspapers' Peter Fitzsimons. Do you have any sense that you're attracting criticism because you're perceived as an outsider, a Kiwi and a woman running a sport whose biggest names are privileged, middle-aged Australian blokes? I don't really think about it like that, Lee. If you were to measure the antipathy against Raylene Castle, about a half of it, in my view, is because she's a woman and there is a inbuilt discrimination. We can't have a woman running rugby. Daisy, why are journalists rushing to sexism as the first explanation of Castle being dumped when the very same rugby establishment hired her in the first place? Well, look, it's just very, very trendy to do that, Andrew. It's all wrapped up in that kind of, you know, in vogue identity politics thing, and it's a good talking point. But honestly, I, I really, I get so resentful when that kind of accusation is made whenever a, a high-profile woman is fired or falls from grace, that it's all to do with, with sexism, because it implies that women can't or shouldn't be held to the same standard as men. And then that in itself is incredibly sexist and incredibly patronising. And evidently... Uh, um, Ray Lee doesn't think it's sexism. She said it does, she doesn't think about it that way. And let's be real here. She had a few hard knocks there with the Israel Folau issue and then the coronavirus, which caused so much chaos within Rugby Australia. It would have taken someone who was a superhuman angel to actually come out of that with their credentials unscathed and have everyone um, still approving of them. So, and as you mentioned, Andrew, um, I mean, look, let's be real here. Perhaps there is or has been an element, an element of a bit of a boys club at Rugby Australia because it is a very, very male historically environment. But as you mentioned, if the sexism is so entrenched there, then why did they hire her a woman in the first place over a bunch of male candidates? It makes no sense. Exactly correct. Uh, get over yeah. that hurdle first there, guys. Daisy Cousins, thank you so much indeed for your time.